There are calls for an apology from Fulton County Schools after a principal condemned a map of Palestine on display at a school-sponsored multicultural night. The principal said appropriate actions would be taken against the people who put the map up. This is the map. It shows Palestine with no reference to Israel. Mm. Parents at the school who are Jewish reached out to us very upset. They told us they were extremely offended by that map. Today, leaders in the Muslim and Arab American community defended the map, saying it shows where the state of Palestine existed until 1948. Joe Hankey is continuing to cover this developing story tonight. Images sent to 11 Alive today show the full display next to this map of Palestine at Autry Mill Middle School's multicultural night last week. Palestinian families showed information about their culture along with food, and other parents set up a similar Israeli display nearby. Several Jewish parents talked with 11 Alive last week, calling the map offensive. Anybody that was exposed to this last night that doesn't even know, you know, what's the story behind all this, right now thinks that this is the map of Palestine. Edward Mitchell is the executive director of CARE Georgia. He called a press conference today to address what he calls misinformation spreading online and claimed the school approved the Palestinian display for the event this year and last year. The map was actually meant to depict the Palestinian and family history, the real history of Palestine when the state existed from 1920 to 1948 under British governments. Mitchell says during that period, the student's grandparents lived in the state of Palestine. In other words, this map and this exhibit was not an act of uh, political commentary. It was part of their family history. It was part of Palestinian history. On Thursday, Autry Mills principal J.E. Trey Martin wrote he was extremely disappointed and disgusted with the individuals who presented an insensitive political and geographic representation. Mitchell claims the school's response led to online bullying. We put a target on the back of these young Palestinian American kids and Muslim kids and anyone who looks Muslim at that school. In a statement today, the district wrote, district leaders and local administrators are working with individuals, parents, students, and groups at Autry Mill Middle School on a personal and individual basis in an effort to create a better understanding of different cultures. Dr. Elise Cohen with Jewish Voice for Peace talked alongside Mitchell today. They were actually bringing a history that's almost never told. They were also bringing a history that most people, when they look at a map, don't even know the region. And so whoever was objecting to these maps clearly needed to stop and ask a question of curiosity. We first covered this story on Friday, and since then, 11 Alive viewers have left hundreds of comments on our Facebook page. We're hearing opinions from the Jewish, Israeli, and Palestinian perspectives. Many comments are rooted in religion, while others are speaking purely from a historical perspective about this land. And Cheryl, the comments are rooted in decades of conflict between Israelis and Palestinians. So as you might imagine, the opinions there are very strong. Yeah, it's very complex. It's political, it's emotional, it's volatile. The school, though, is kind of in the middle here. You got some new information about what they're going to do next. We did. A Fulton County School spokeswoman told me that they have heard from individual students as well as parents. The principal at this middle school is going to set up private meetings with those individuals. Also, community leaders and religious leaders have reached out to the school. The school is talking with them to talk through some of those concerns that they have about this map being on display at that event. All right, you'll keep following it for us. Joe Hankey, thanks.